Hello and welcome back to Kingdom New Lands. Queen is still alive, by the way, but there's been some oopsies. So, what I thought I was recording didn't actually, like, it got recorded, but it was such a shitty, it wasn't HD, it wasn't clear enough. I mean, this isn't HD, but it's cl way clearer than before because of my stupid file converter. I, I thought I was picking the right file type to convert it to because Fraps makes stupid fat files for like five minutes of recording. So I need to slim them down so it doesn't take up so much work for my computer. Yeah, so converting it to just plain AVI was such a bad idea. But I'm learning! Hooray! Anyways, so <clears throat> you're all probably wondering why the hell I'm riding a deer. Well, we are now on the f fourth, I, I want to say fourth island, so there is no traveler, dude. So, okay, so on, on the third island, I noticed there was, like, a nice little, I don't want to call it a shrine of sorts, but, like, on one side of the, there's a part of the road one has a candle, and on the other end there's a candle, and there's this massive deer just pouncing in between candles. I didn't have any gold on me at first, so it didn't pop up that I could ride him. So I ignored him at first. And then I found a box full of money and came back to the deer. And you can ride him. Oh, it's so adorable. And he's, he's faster, and he, he, he runs so cute. I love it, it's just so bouncy. But when you're around other deer, he, um, he gets the attention of the deer and then the deer follow him. Which is fantastic because killing a deer is a lot of money and that's great. We, anytime you can get a lot of money in this game, do it. Because, do it. <clears throat> but so yeah, I rushed, I almost lost the crown while I thought I was recording that it turned it into a shitty file. So I recorded it, turned it into the file, and before reviewing said file, I deleted the original video I made like a dumbass. So there's that. <clears throat> That's why there's none of those recordings up at all, because I got rid of the file. <laughs> Smart me, go me. Um, but yeah, well, on the third island, I was getting overrun by massive monsters and like, a handful of flyers, which apparently gobble up your dudes that are on the two-story ar archer tower. Yeah, <laughs> hooray! <laughs> so, yeah, they destroyed the first two walls on the left side, and there was, uh, <clears throat> there was a lot of monsters, and a lot of different monsters. So they destroyed the first two walls, so they were able to get inside my kingdom. Luckily for me, the boat was already, like, near the other end of, near the end of the pier, so, like, <laughs> I just kind of ran for it, and I didn't know if I even had enough gold left. Luckily, I s did the smart thing and left with a ton of money, which didn't help me here, because it didn't help me here. Uh, and I just realized I wasted money just pooping that shit out, because poop gold, and usually the monsters will grab what they do and they'll move along, but if there's more than four or five monsters, they're going to take the gold and the rest of them are still going to come. So, all right for that too. <clears throat> now, when you're on the fourth island, you don't get a traveling merchant. You don't, you don't even see his house, nothing. So you, you really got to like tear down those trees quickly. Because the faster you can get money, the faster your defenses can get and more dudes you can hire and whatnot. I mean, right now we're just dealing with piddly little monsters, so it shouldn't get too hard for a couple more nights. But man, I was playing this and didn't realize how long had gone by. Like, you. Now, when I say it was. In my first video, when I said it was a time waster, it's more like you lose track of time because you're just so worried about your defenses, wanting to get more money, getting that boat up. There's a lot to worry about in this game, and then just the time eludes you. See? all oh, little hearts. all oh, little hearts. Now the deer's gonna follow me if I'm that quicker than it, and... I, yeah, I am. I need more dudes more than deer. 
and more knocking down of the trees and whatnot because we need rabbits lots and lots of bunnies because bunnies <laughs> they're a great source of income but once it starts snowing that source of income is gone so I think that's why they give you the uh, I'm gonna call him the banker dude we'll just call him the banker because he stores money and when you get a, give him like over 10 he doesn't give it all back he only gives you like half of what you give him back which is cool because in the long run whatever you give him later on in the game he'll just puke up like a bag's worth of gold and I think I you see that later I mean I'm pretty sure you've seen it already but he's just like and here's all the money blah <clears throat> see not much enough but give it back to him whatever because we need space for bunnies <clears throat> like I can't stress that enough that you need bunnies and chopping down the trees just if there's a camp close by that have dudes in it try to get as many dudes as you can first like a lot of dudes first like a lot <clears throat> like more than what I have because you if you don't if you don't explore both sides of your kingdom like far enough you won't know if there's another camp or if there isn't another camp like it's randomly generated so you could only get like there is gonna be at least one camp on either side of your kingdom but you don't know if it's gonna generate two on this side or two on that side maybe it generates five camps three on one side and two on another I've never seen that many I've only seen two on one side, so who the hell knows? But, <clears throat> if there's a camp close by, take advantage of the close camp, because if they're further away, the higher chance they're never going to make it to your kingdom. They're never going to make it. Just now. Uh, I've wasted so much gold on dudes that were, like, behind the portal, thinking, like, oh, I need more dudes. Well, this is going to have to do. Yeah, it was just better off to wait at the other camp. <laughs> because, man, I'd come back and there's like home, uh, quote, quote, homeless dudes like halfway here, but they're like homeless because they got the monsters beat them up and took their gold, so they don't have any money. So they look old and homeless. So they make it halfway, about as far as they get, but <clears throat> you have to throw them that extra coin again. And in the beginnings, you kind of need all the gold you can for other dudes. Monsters run. Nope, nope, nope. There's a bunch of nope. I forgot. <clears throat> and that's what happens when you ignore nighttime. <clears throat> oh, come on, dear. Yeah, I don't think he has as much stamina, but he does go like twice the speed because he freaking leaps. <clears throat> I mean, it's a deer, so I would hope he'd leap. And it's really adorable. And I like the deer. And he's humongous. And. <clears throat> I feel powerful on this humongous deer. <laughs> and there's usually... Huh. Oh, it's not a harvest moon. It's just got all, like, silent, hilly, and foggy, and, um... I was expecting the worst, but, uh, apparently not. Because <clears throat> not every night they're gonna attack. It's more like... One night, both sides will attack. One night, one side will attack. If it's a blood moon, then both sides will attack. Probably double their f normal forces. I'm not entirely sure. I would assume, like, blood moon would be terrible. Because it is terrible. Heart later on in the game. Well, not later on in the game. More like later in days. Like, if you get, like, the past 20 days. Uh, they... It, it, it gets rough. It does. Because <clears throat> if you don't have that extra wall, say you put like a wall far, far out. Like way far out. Like, oh, well, let's say out here. There, say there's a little patch dirt right there. You want to make sure there's at least another wall of patch, like another patch of dirt where like you can build another wall just in case your dudes in the first wall get over overrun so they have something to run back to because if you don't have that wall in between like the main wall and that far away wall you're gonna lose dudes they don't 
technically your dudes don't die. They just like <laughs> they become homeless homeless dudes. Like that's the best way I can d describe it. Is the monsters hit them for that gold? They rip their clothes to shred and they're homeless again. So they just wander aimlessly in that spot they got attacked at until you give him another piece of gold. <clears throat> when that happens a lot. <sighs> It gets a little tedious to keep running back to dudes and like, here's more money and I gotta go build more builders and archers and like, go back and forth, back and forth trying to get those dudes back. It's a lot of fucking dudes. <clears throat> and I'm like contemplating if I want to put a wall here, but like, I need those bunnies. Bunnies equal money. And again, I, I, I like money in this game. <laughs> And I really need to get more farmers. I have this farm place with no farmers. And it's a little upsetting. <laughs> Which I think I'm going to suck it up and get a farmer soon. I just want to make sure my defenses don't suck. That's my problem is like I, I'd rather have way more archers. Because <clears throat> they can just run out and kill the bunnies for me. And I don't have to worry about this stuff growing on this plot of land. Nah. <sighs> Thank you. Gold. More gold. Yay. Again, I, I still haven't, like, messed with the hermit. I don't know what she does. I waste gold on her. I feel like I'm just wasting four pieces of gold on her because, like, I've had her ridden on my horse before and she does nothing. Unless I'm missing something, which I probably am. <coughs> I want to know what the hermit does. She's tiny and adorable. Tiny and adorable is awesome. Do stuff. <coughs> I'd like to know what you do, lady. And see, I don't know how, like, it balance out, balances out each side. I just watch two dudes run from that side. It's just, oh god, it's Blood Moon. Oh boy, Blood Moon. Yay, I need to get that wall up in those archers up. Jeez. Um, yeah, good idea to do it right now. With dudes coming, maybe. We're still, like, in the early stages of this fourth island, but, like, Eep? <laughs> E. No, I don't want it. <laughs> Bad monsters, no. Yeah, it's a weak night. Weak selves. They don't have the stuff. Nope, they sure don't. That's a little upsetting. This is the first Blood Moon I've seen that doesn't have dudes out. Unless, again, I just ignored what was going on. I didn't hear any catapults go. I didn't hear any... I didn't hear any of that. So, moving on. Might as well go get dudes, or something along those lines. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. Always collect. Well, I mean, I guess coming from the banker dude, it doesn't really matter as long as you don't, like, come back to him before he walks back in. Because <clears throat> I don't know what that's going to do for the next day of money. I don't. No, because technically he didn't give you any, so you don't lose any, I don't think. <laughs> but we... <clears throat> I'm getting a little worried. I want to build a boat, but, like, I don't know which way it's going, because I haven't searched far out because I'm scared. <laughs> this is the fourth island. I think there's two portals on both sides, maybe three. I have seen three portals on one side, and that's... That was in the last island, which I, again, I am so sorry for, like, fudging all of that up. <clears throat> I'm just, I'm, I'm learning as I go. I'm learning. It's a wee bit confusing at times, but... Oh, here it is. I didn't leave. That's what I'm talking about. That's the shrine thing that had lit candles on us. That's where the deer came from. He was just chilling in between there, just like, hey, la la la, here's a fountain, it's pretty, la la la. I'm here, ride me, I'm giant deer. Yes, sir. <laughs> You're mine now. <laughs> He's so cute. Okay, and I'm wrong about the stamina. He does have a lot of stamina. And he eats quickly. Which is fantastic. And I wish my computer would stop telling me to activate windows. Or I don't want to do it. Oh, go away. Fuck off. Yeah, so about that. <laughs> so recently, like, I want to say a couple weeks ago. Uh... I got a, like, I don't know what you would call it, but a Zeus virus on my computer, because I went on 
uh, it seemed like the name of the website seemed legit, and then uh, I dumbed, and I had a feeling I shouldn't click on it, but I was like, oh, curiosity, and then I clicked on it, and it gave me a Zeus virus. So instead of doing what the notification said to do, I just kind of restored my laptop to factory default, and at first Windows was fine until I upgraded to 8.1, which then it was like, so, product key? I don't, this laptop was given to me as a gift because it was just going to get dumped in the trash anyways. I don't have product key. And then I looked and it's like, oh, more than likely for my Asus laptop, more than likely in, in the battery. So I'd have to take the laptop apart. <coughs> Uh, I, I'm too scared to do that because me being a blonde and somewhat of a ditz, not too much. I, I don't. I'm, I'm afraid to take it apart. Like I've gotten the like the, the screws out before, but like opening it is the scary part because a lot of the popping sounds and I mm, I didn't I couldn't do it. So now I try to ignore the hey activate hey, activate me thing because that look Windows. It's a lot. You can find on Windows 8. And then I upgraded it like a dum dum. And now you're giving me crap. One, I don't have the money to buy a key. And two, why do you want me to destroy my laptop to get to the product key that's behind the battery in my tiny laptop that sounds like it's gonna die? Huh? I I'm not, no. I don't wanna do that. So, that's my issue with that. Moving on! <laughs> Back to adorable hops from the deer. <laughs> yeah, his, his eating is like, I want to say like l more than half of that of the time it takes a horse to freaking eat. Like, I'm, I'm, I like the horses, but the deer is much better, especially if I want like deer for dinner. Like here, let's go hop around these deer and then they're going to like you and then we lure them back to our archers and then they die. I don't do it that often because I don't really care. I'd rather just like getting the lore. I mean, standing by them and getting them attracted to your deer dude. That's easy. You just stand by them. They take a few bites, look up, and hearts happen. Sweet. Getting them to follow you back to home. Kind of annoying and tedious because you have to kind of walk with it. You if you like hop away too quickly. They don't follow. So you kind of have to, like, walk. <clears throat> like, and I mean walk. And sometimes stop walking because they're too far behind. And they'll do their little cute adorable hops to catch up. But then when it gets close, they walk with your deer. So depending on where you got those deer, that could take a year and a half. And uh, we don't have time for that. <laughs> At least I don't have time for that. <clears throat> but I mean, it is an... It's cool if I'm in an area with like a ton of deer, like if I went back to the first island, because I think you're able, you can go back to other parts of the other islands once you collect that, that uh, piece of map, because I'm at the point, I, I'm at the point in this game where like at first I wasn't getting pieces of map because I already unlocked them beforehand, before starting this new character, so you don't have to get those maps because you've already been there. But I came here and I'm like, oh, okay, piece of map. Oh, I'm gonna buy that. Go ahead, two coins. Sweet. And I don't know <laughs> where the other places are gonna lead me, and I'm kind of <laughs> little chicken. Cause I've seen what the brute. I I I've almost lost this crown like a handful of times. And I will make sure that like my recordings of this isn't gonna get messed up anymore because now I know what files to convert it to and then like <clears throat> it's it's a lot my editing process takes me about like I want to say about three hours per video now because of well I'm cheap and broke so I can't use some of the programs because they're good but they cost money and there's no like free version of them so there's that so I have to use one file to convert and then use another file to mash them together, or one software to convert, one software to mash them together, and then one software to put it all together and make it into one giant smaller file. 
<laughs> if that makes any sense, because Movie Maker condenses, it, like, makes it smaller than what the original file was, which is awesome. But we are getting close to the end of the video, sadly to say. And uh, like I said, they just waste time playing this game, and it's great. But thank you all for watching. I hope you hit that like button and subscribe button, and I will see you tomorrow. Is that the